Hey guys, welcome to game two between Zeski and Kaido. Kudos. I have to remember to keep adjusting that. 12 o'clock location, we got Zeski starting as the purple Terran, bottom left hand corner. We got Kudos starting as the yellow Zerg. And this is on Apocalypse. We'll see if Zeski opts to adjust the build order. This is one of those maps that is rampless. And actually kind of, you know what's funny? I kind of like factory openings on this map. Because it is a little bit more wide open, there's not a ramp to defend against the vultures, and it's a wide open natural expansion. I don't know if Seski's going to try to attempt that. We'll have to see. I'm wondering if he's going to go for an 8 racks once again. It, but yes, we'll, we'll actually see how many 8 racks happen in this tournament. Because one, it's something you do to an opponent to try to throw their early game off. To create it a little bit off-tempo. But that's, and again, this is why I don't call it cheese anymore. It is something that Zerg kind of have become acclimated to. And it looks like we are going to go ahead and see an 8 barracks once again. And also, it's one of those things that Terran has a build out of. It's like when it fails, you're economically behind. But there's continuation play now. So I almost feel like once you plop down that second Rax, then you are doing cheese. If it's just the one Rax before Supply Depot, you're just slowing down your economy. with some. It's like going 9 pool equivalently almost, right? Although it is... I think there's more risk to it comparatively because when you have this situation with an overpool from Kudos, you end up in a very, very tough fight where you need to pull SCVs off the line and it, own, it basically ends up, and he's going to get first Overlord Scout as well. So you end up with an economic inversion where you need to sit back, pull SCVs off the line, defend. So essentially it's kind of like risky economic trade for a risky economic trade depending on what the opener is. Kudos seeing the edge of it, seeing the fact that it's a barracks, and sees the two SCVs flooding out as well. So just going to try to get the Overlord into that corner. Gas already plopped down. Kudos in the meantime going to go ahead and plop down his natural expansion, knowing that he's got Overpool and can just save Larva. He's going to be in a very dominant position. Should be able to have four Zerglings out in the field immediately to contest any sort of marine aggression. So the first pair of Zerglings being built, and there's the second player uh, queued up. USCVs engage. I missed the SCV versus drone fight at the natural. It looks like Kudos pulled off some drones a little bit earlier, and the SCVs have been pretty softened up. Another aspect of this, ooh, and yeah, being drawn off only 10 HP left, some nice micro there. This drone gets taken out. That's a vicious killer right there, but an SCV gets wiped out in kind. And so now this is going to be lost resources. The Zerglings are making their way across. That's kind of the other problem with going for an 8 racks is you just have to drop that bunker and get a sense of when the Zergling timing is to know. That I like what Zesky's doing here, recognizing that the timing isn't there. So instead, going ahead and moving that SC4, uh, SCV forward to get some scouting information, making this Marine draw the Zerglings away towards a 3 o'clock location, but kudos doing a nice adjustment and moving the additional three Marines. This is what I mean, this is there's continuation play out of this. So dropped, dropping a bunker, dropping command center, we have two Marines in position. This is still not linked tight. And so, and SCVs have not been pulled as well. So these three Zerglings, before that bunker is complete, actually more Zerglings flooding in. Oh, that's unfortunate. So Zesky, yeah, just minor adjustments here. If he had the two SCVs along that bunker edge, or if he had gone uh, depot, barracks, depot, Actually, is that possible on this map? Um, if he had gone with a little bit of a different front door configuration, might have had some more success here. But now, SCVs going up against Zerglings. And it looks like he already repositioned and didn't get the drill off. So I think that is round one tournament nerves, first of all. But Zesky showing that he is a competent Terran, I have to say, in the midst of this. It's just he's going up against a really, really strong opponent with very, very good Zergling micro is the other aspect of this. Right now, oof. Fighting it out. Did a Marine get into the... I heard a Marine go into the bunker. Fortunately, that Marine... Yeah, now Zesky. So this command center finishes, so it looked like he wanted to try to move to this position where he had a little bit of protection, but he's only going to be able to mine out of these lower patches. And the economic damage is already sufficient that it is... Yeah, Kudos would have to drop it, so Zesky going to GG right there. Unfortunate, so small errors in both Game 1 Game 2 off an 8 racks, costing Zesky here. And we will, he will move to the lower bracket. But I gotta say, uh, flying all the way from Australia, the guy's a hero. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.